Hey, welcome back to Everything Fly Fishing. I got a cool video for you today. We are going to tie a little slightly adjusted Joe's Hopper. So, you won't want to miss this awesome grasshopper pattern. Well, let's get on with it. Get a grip on your bad self. Learn to love the game. Get on down to the roulette wheel And pray that the end comes and wails and win its way and the hotel's not alive Today's episode is being brought to you by Adventure Recordings Where they will cop they will record and put on DVD all your outside action adventures whether it's bungee jumping, fishing, hunting, hiking, camping, cliff diving, rock climbing, you name it, we will capture it. Maybe even skydiving. So if you want to capture that special moment on the DVD or electronic file, get a hold of them now. Hey everybody, guess what we do here? That's right. We start like we always do. We debarb the hook. And this is a size 10 3x long dry fly hook. We're also going to tie, we're going to tie in brown 70 denier ultra thread. As our thread, we're going to lay a base of thread down from the eyelet all the way back to the bend. We're gonna tie in some orange hackle as like a little tail. We'll tie that in. We're gonna run our thread up to about the three-quarter mark on the mark on the shank of the hook. Now we're gonna tie in this like brown Chanel. This stuff floats, it's a, it's a synthetic uh, yarn, thread material, or yeah, yarn, synthetic material that floats. And I use it for pedestals on uh, parachutes and wings lately. It works really well, but it floats like crazy. It really add a nice flotation to the grasshopper. So we're gonna tie that in, and we're gonna run that, tie that in up there at that three quarter spot. So we still start building up the body. Now I can bring that back right in front of the tail. Make a loop. Push. Like you're gonna take it back and bring it on top of the hook, make a loop. Then you're gonna put a loose wrap and tie it down. Then run your thread back up to that three-quarter spot. Now you want to tie in a black hackle, a dark dun works. I think that's actually what I have here, really dark dun. You want to tie that in. And that's going to act like a rib later on. Now you're going to run your thread up. And you're just, by using that material and trapping it down up there, you're going to just start building up your body. So now you're going to go and thread into that material and do a couple thread wraps in front of that material and get ready to wrap this body.
Now you're gonna take your material, wrap it around, and keep wrapping till you get a cigar shape or a body form that you are pleased with, then tie it off. Now you gotta take that hackle and counter wrap it the opposite way you wrapped that material on. Now we're going to take our scissors in there and cut off the hackle on the sides. Now just only, only on the sides. Need the top and bottom for like legs. Now you're going to take two turkey feathers. You have to make sure you have two opposite feathers. The two doll sides go together. And I'll explain that to you then. Make sure you have two that go the opposite feathers. Usually when you buy turkey feathers, they give you two. You're gonna cut a turkey feather about, I'd say about a half inch wide. And you're gonna tie it on the side and you want the, the, the feather to go like this. So if you have two, we're gonna do that on both sides. So when you tie that in, cut that one off, if you and tie it in on the side where it goes like this. Then cut one off the opposite feather and tie one on the other side that goes like this. There you can see how we want to make that as long as right to the end of that loop you made. And we want to make sure when you cut wing for the both sides are about the, they're the same width. And you're going to tie that one and you can see how the wing flares up. You need two opposite turkey feathers or feathers to do that. You could use wing neck or some other kind of feather but it has to have that angle like that and the molting on it. Now you're going to start laying down a thread base so you can tie in your hackle. Kind of making an even thing up there and tie all your material down and make it start forming your head. And then you're going to tie in a grizzly and a brown hackle.
I'm gonna tie these two in together and then I'm gonna wrap that up to the, the eyelid of the hook and I'm gonna put a little head cement on there and let it dry and then we're gonna continue wrapping these I'm gonna wrap these together usually I do them separate on the fly on the dry fly so I can control the grizzly but it's not really the color is not really important to me on this this is a, a grasshopper and so it's gonna work I've had these work so I'm not really keen on which I've had them work no matter if it's brownier or light grizzlier it doesn't seem to matter so I'm just gonna tackle these wrap these together leave a little room for your head tie them off put two whip finishes in and that is it thread off and these are real fun flies to tie they work real well so have fun with them change your body and colors that I say we let it take a really good look closer look at this really cool fly All you like that grasshopper pattern I really really works and the cool thing is you can use it as a dropper rig and then the next fly we tire you can uh, tie on here you can use as a dropper below it which are really both work really effectively <sighs> let me tell you that felt good I haven't died a tying video in so long I just love doing tying videos it's my favorite ones to do Except for the talkings a lot, but I like enjoy making these for you because I like teaching you guys something new that you can tie up and go out and catch fish with. So thank you for watching this video. If Riz will be quiet, he likes to put his voice in on all our videos. Hey Riz, be quiet! Thank you for watching our videos like always. I hope you enjoyed this video. And at any time you can click the little thing down here and subscribe. And give this thumbs up and always leave comments. We love thumbs ups and comments. Thank you. See you next time. Boom! Welcome to the end of our video. I wake you up. Cool. Did you hear at the end of the video? Awesome. You can check out a video earlier in the week here. A video right there. Just for you. And you can subscribe up here. And please subscribe. Very important. And thank you very much for watching this video. Keep your lines wet. Out of the trees. And only give them fish a sore lip.